Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our 1.19 survival series. In the last episode, we ended up decorating this entire beautiful little house that we built in the first episode, including some chest, kitchen, and little greenhouse area. And that ended up using a lot of my tools. So in this episode, my plan is to get an iron farm going so that we don't have to worry about any of our tools running out, we can just keep renewing them. And the initial concept that I had was that I was going to replace the current blacksmith with a fancier looking blacksmith similar to this design and put an iron farm on the inside of that. But that almost killed me. Oh my goodness. Sidebar for just a moment while I fix this. And there we go. <laughs> but I realized that I'm actually not able to do that because we are currently in a village. So creating a iron farm that is based around the concept of a village spawning iron golems doesn't really work. So my idea is that we head away from the village all the way over here to this corner. That way we can still have the iron farm on the mountain that we're currently on. But then we don't have to worry about the spawns and everything in the regular village interfering with our uh, synthetic village, if you will. <laughs> so I've already cleared out a spot of land here. It's looking nice and pretty. Hopefully it's enough space. From what I understand, it just has to be 100 blocks away and the ability to go up and down around 20 blocks for this build. So hopefully this plot of land will work well. And just like the other build that we did in our last episode, this is going to take a lot of materials and that seems very boring to record. So give me a second and I will meet back up with you guys and we will see what we need to do to build this thing. While I was mining for some iron, I found quite a few spawners, including a double zombie spawner. Maybe in the future we can turn these into some farms. Alrighty, I have everything together that we're going to need for this build, and this took absolutely forever because I even got all three villagers. And if we check out over here, we also have a zombie which we are going to need. But even all of this isn't quite everything that we're going to need, so the final thing we actually need to go to the nether for. So just for the moment, I'm going to put our portal right here and then head on into the nether because the final thing that I need is going to be some quartz. And I believe this is some right here. Oh my goodness. I forgot they don't like when you don't have gold. I'm sorry. Do I have any gold by chance? No. Let me go grab some. I have some leggings anyways. That works perfectly. And back in. And hopefully now he won't care that I'm here. He might because I smacked him. But oh, no, now he's in the overworld. Okay, well, <laughs> we will deal with that in a moment. For now, all I need is this. Thank you. And goodbye. Yeah, I, I, I figured that would happen. And with that, I can finally craft two of these, which is the final step. And now we should have everything, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, again, I don't want to rip off the tutorial, so if you do want to build this in your own worlds, I will leave this video as a link in the description for you guys to follow along if you would like to. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to simply paraphrase it. So we're going to start with a 3x5 area, and we're going to dig down 16 blocks. And then to help me get in and out of here in the future, I just added a little ladder off to the side. And then right next to this, I'm going to do a 4x5 area, three blocks down this time, and then surround this small pit with the stairs, and then you cover up the second bigger pit with a layer of cobblestone, and then you go to the part where it's left open at the front, and add ten blocks going this way, and then five blocks going this way. And then you can go ahead and fill this all in. So I do believe that I set this up a little bit backwards, because if I were to follow his tutorial, the front door would be on that side. And I kind of wanted to face this direction, and initially I wanted it to face this direction, but I set it up kind of weird. So for now, we're just going to flip this building around, and we'll make our door right here actually and then we're gonna take some birch planks and we're gonna go up two layers all the way around the house just like that okay so i flipped it around because i realized it looked stupid if it was reversed so, so now we have the bigger pit underneath here and oh yep there is the giant pit on this side and now we can take our spruce and go up four and then four on this side as well strip the logs build across and then do the same on the back only this block is one more in. And then we connect these two along the side and then heading over to the patio area, we'll put this right here and add one more pillar. Also connecting this down the middle and then right here in the corner of the patio, we'll go up one, two, three, four, and then another four on the other corner of the patio. And then right next to the second pillar, we'll do another 
spruce pillar and then connect the spruce pillars to the stone brick pillars. I spent about an hour and a half before I finally gave up on trying to figure out how he did his redstone and I eventually just made my own. So what's going on down here is there's just a chain of hoppers going in a little snake pattern all the way over into this corner where I have it filtered into this chest. I then started building the first and second floor of the tower before these guys showed up. I killed all of the main guy's minions, and then I did my best, but I accidentally killed the flag guy. I then continued to build, totally forgetting about this incident, until I made my way into the village and accidentally started my first ever raid. I'd never done one of these before, and I was horribly underprepared. The first couple of rounds were alright until a ravager showed up, and I died. A lot, to say the least. <laughs> Once I had figured all of that out, I built a staircase to get the zombie I'd named Ziggy into the farm. I can't tell you how long it took to get this zombie in there, but it was a total pain. And then it was all for nothing because I woke up in the morning and she was totally gone. Despawned, killed, I don't know, burned up. Either way, she was gone. And if I'm being honest, I'd been recording for about seven hours at this point. And that was it. The final straw. <laughs> Just a Minecraft zombie named Ziggy was the final straw at the end of my mental capacity. <laughs> so I took a very, very long break after this, which is why this video took so long to come out. Sorry about that. During this break, I ended up justifying to myself, and I hope that you guys agree, that seven hours of struggling in survival mode, more than I could ever explain in this video, justified finishing off the farm in creative mode. So I quickly put myself in an LAN mode, switched over to creative, and I began working on the farm. I started by putting three villagers and a zombie named Ziggy with a two for the Z, very creative, I know, in the second floor of the tower. I could tell this was working because there were already iron golems spawning. I was super excited about this because I'd been working on it for so long, so I quickly continued to finish off the walls and the spawning platform, adding some water into the corners to push the golems out towards the lava pit that we'd made earlier. And to finally test it out, once this was all complete, I added a bunch of slabs everywhere just to spawn proof the area and immediately iron golem started pouring in. It was awesome. <laughs> I really can't explain how satisfying it was to finally finish the farm in like 10 minutes in creative mode, whereas it took me seven hours <laughs> to get to this point already. Next, I quickly raced down to check if the collection system was working and technically the collection system worked perfectly. The only issue was that the lava was one block too high, so the iron golem stopped burning. Luckily, that was a very easy fix. I just moved the lava down by one, and everything was working perfectly. <laughs> Literally 10 minutes into creative mode, and this entire farm was fixed, and it probably would have taken me four hours. So I really hope you guys are okay with it, because I definitely, definitely am okay with it. <laughs> And to try to justify the fact that I went into creative mode just for a little bit of this, I did get rid of almost everything that we would have used in that build. So it wasn't like I was just, you know, grabbing some free materials from creative mode. And usually around this time in the video, I give you guys a little bit of a tour. But this video is probably a little bit different just because this isn't complete. That will be saved for a later time to finish decorating this, but I am very much happy that the main part is complete. So to give you a tour of what's actually working right now, right in this second part of the tower, there is a zombie and some villagers, and that basically is creating a synthetic village which tells the game to spawn some iron golems to save the villagers from the zombie. And those iron golems, since they have nowhere else to spawn, will end up spawning up on that platform up there, where the water in the corners pushes them all the way forward. And I think the concept originally in the guy's video was to have this be such a long fall that the iron golems took damage, but I, I'm really not quite sure that's working in mine. So <laughs> I ended up changing the hopper system anyways from what his was. He wanted to have hoppers collecting it and then bring it all the way back up to a chest room up there, but I really am just okay with having a ladder. And my hoppers just collect right here. And as you can see, there's golems falling in, dying, the hoppers collect it, bring it all the way over here to the chest, and it is doing amazing. This is everything that spawned just in the matter of me recording this little clip. But that is definitely all the time that I have for this episode, so if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like as it does help out quite a bit. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing because I would love to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!